Wow. Um, what do I have to say about that? I didn't have enough wine. Oh, wait a second. I'm live. That red button's on. Hello, folks. Welcome back. For I am the one, the only. I am Hobo Tom. And, wow. If, if that's the go-home show for Money in the Bank, wow, or my standard set low. But I'll get into that in a little bit. First, I have some happier news to talk about. So again, I'd like to thank everyone that watches this program. You guys make me keep on doing this. Again, it's one of those few things that brings me joy, even though I have to watch some of this garbage they call pro wrestling sometimes i have a whole bunch of shout outs to give so i'm sorry if i look a little bit distracted i'm getting my list the list of hobos ready so let's see here ted you sir well even though i'm not going to be your friend but that's okay you still sir are, are a master of the air guitar Richard Harris, you, sir, you win twice. You're that good. You earned that six count.
Sonny Bimbo. This is your last thank you video. Next time you you are going to be built into the Daytona Beach Pump Fight League. So you sir can walk right to that um, not so glorious arena. Here. And some others I have to I have to say hello to. Draka Slayer, you sir are definitely partying. Oh, Draka Slayer Silver Claw Zero. I'm sorry, I didn't realize your name was way too long. That's okay. You sir are partying with that brief box, briefcase boom box. I'm sorry. It was a long smackdown. Two guy, you know, you seem to win by a dirty pin. See here, Baron Cormor. You, sir, are part of a band, the El Generico band. Baron, holy shit. And finally, last but not least, Tomas Verbata. You, sir, definitely know that Jordan has some back. Oh my god, Becky, look at her butt. Wow. I like big butts and I cannot lie. And with all those thanks you givens, I'm so embarrassed about this SmackDown. Oh, wow. I apologize, folks, to all the wrestling fans out there. This has not been a good go-home show. The wrestling, I mean, there were a couple good, there, there were some good matches. But 
I, I don't know. It just doesn't give hope for what the pay-per-view is going to be. I, I, it just might be me. That opening match stunk. I don't care. It stinks, stinks, stunk. I am so embarrassed to be a wrestling fan right now. I'm throwing pens all over the place. I'm losing stuff. I, I, I obviously haven't had enough red wine tonight. I can't, I can't, I can't do the show. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. But you know who will do the show? The man who will do anything? Get in here! You! You son of a bitch! You! You! Oh! Oh, gracias! Oh, I, I, I do not have any ear. Oh, wait. This is the part you speak in. I cannot use this because I cannot put this in my ear. You should, should realize that and be more sensitive to my Latin culture. So let me change things up very quickly. I forgot all about that. Let me go there. Can't believe Hobo Tom is so culturally insensitive to my Latin roots. Oh, that's better. Feels better, at least. We'll see if it's any better. But you know what? I am not. I am not ashamed of this SmackDown. This was actually a very entertaining SmackDown for a prospect of the tradition of tag team wrestling. So I was very happy. Bien, bien, bien. So I shall do the rest of the show with a lot more enthusiasm for Hobo Tom is depressed. I do not know what about them. So let's get to the show. And, oh, that's right. No bien. Mal. Muy mal. The show starts off cold. Frizo. Frio. Terrible. It starts off with Senora Sonia Deville taking on Senorita Mandy Rose. And wow, there was no build to this or anything. Oh, I do not know if I could actually comment properly upon this match. But Sonia Deville, she has much to learn about the wrestling industry. And so does Senorita Mandy Rose. Although Sonia does wear that most muy, in, 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 muy interesting bodysuit. C, C, C. So this match, match starts off. Um, really, Sonia just beats up. Mandy Rose a little bit, uh, puts her in the body scissors, starts to choke, tries to choke her out. Eventually, Mandy Rose. Oh, let me put this there. Ah, I figured something out in this place. So that's that's very that's very good. We being tries to put her to sleep, but that's not happening. Uh, she then she pulls off the eyelashes. Oh, that's like wrapping. That's like trying to rip the mask of a luchador. So heelish. Is Senora Di Sonia? Ooh, Senora Sonia. I like the way that sounds. Uh, Mandy Rose comes to starts her comeback with some clotheslines, then a knee, and then Sonia falls to the outside, and then on the outside of the ring, C C C. Sonia Deville gets pummeled, tossed into the table. For I am El Table. I am El Table. I am El Table. C, C, C. Ooh, pardon moi. That's, wait, that's French. Stupid French language. Uh, por favor. C. Then, let's see here. Sonia drives. Gets driven to the table and the steps. The metal steps, just like Sonia did to poor Mandy. Last week, uh, Mandy then gets sent over the table. I want to know where was the 10 count. Uno, dos, tres. Up to DC. No. Mal, mal, mal. Mal referee. El Arudo referee. Boo. Should have done the 10 count. Ah, uh, caramba. 
He uh, swung you over the table. And there was no pedigree, there was no roll up! Not even La Magistra! It was just a basic roll up! No bien. Marvelous this match. Um, so Sonia Deville, Senorita Sonia Deville wins. Just like I've done all week long. This was a churro of a match. Although somewhere out in Stanford, Connecticut, Vince, I hear Vince's thoughts in my head. This is such good shit. We'll prolong this until SummerSlam and the WWE Universe will love this. No. No mas. No mas, Senor Vince. Uh, Sonia and Mandy. Mal. That was a churro. But it does get better, though. But we have the New Day. Because New Day rock. And the Lucha, Lucha, Lucha House Party come to the ring to take on the Forgotten Sons. And the Miz and Morrison. And Johnny Mundo! Uh, they did this right after a Miz and Morrison roundup, but what happened last week. So it was pretty cool to see. Uh, Miz, again, he didn't, he, he was going after Kofi a lot, did not get his cheap shot. And then all of a sudden, all Ocho into the ring. Uh, Wesley Blake then stops Big E a lot until Big E begins to turn the tide on him, making his comeback. Kofi gets attacked. The leapfrog, boom, drop. Uh, Lindsay, uh, Lindsay Dorado, the golden lynx, goes flying like he can, and then assists Kofi in the double arm stomp. It's always good to see Technicos double team as well. See, si. uh, Kofi bounces off the ring after Blake got pulled out, oh, Kofi Kingston pumps out the ring post after Blake got pulled out of the way by his tag team partner Cutler. Uh, Miz is just so heelish. Morrison, oh, El Johnny Mundo, oh, Senor Mundo, we need you back in Triple A. Oh, Johnny Mundo, we need you. We need you, Senor. Uh, such good chain wrestling, put so many moves together. Cutler and Jax got their cheap shots in. And then Oh, that bootlace, Eric. Oh, the move of a two Rudo. Uh, let's see here. Ms. and Morrison did the heart, heart, the heart line disaster kick. Very intriguing. I like that. I like it when they incorporate their new move set into classic moves, such as that of the Heart Foundation. Always get to see Kofi. Then hip tosses twice. Both people for Forgotten Sons. Ha ah, Kofi Kingston does know his wrestling roots. Uh, Cutler then low bridges. Gets low bridged. Uh, Miz eats the SOS. But however, he did not get pinned by it. How is this match going to end? There's, there's a finishing move. There must be a finish to it. The Technicos must reign supreme, supremo. A grand metal heat. Oh, senor, senor, senor. Oh, so bueno. Oh, muy, muy bueno. Oh, fly. Fly, senor metalic, fly. Oh, he did the splash, a hurricanrana. Oh, flying all over the place. Dorado got caught. However, set up a double team. And again, a couple more moves. And then, so speak the barricade. I am the barricade. I am the barricade. I am El Barricade. See, see, see. Then that was a moon, moon salt. Again, by Lindsay. By, this was kind of... Yeah, Alan Zetorado, all Grand Metal League. So hard to tell when us luchadors wear our mask. 
Mascaras. Yeah. Uh, the Moonsault and the Shooting Star Press. I think Moonsault was done by Lente Torado. The Shooting Star Press by Gran Metalik. Over there is the DDT Stomp on the outside by onto Kofi Kingston by the Rudos Forgotten Sons. I almost forgot who they were. They were almost purely forgotten. And there's a Hurricanrana driver. Oh! Oh! Nicabella! Even that hurt then. Uh, there was no Starship Pain, though. There was a setup to the Starship Pain. No Starship Pain. Miz eventually hit the skull crushing finale! Marudos! Mar, 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 win. But again, this was a muy intriguing match. It was very entertaining. Muy entertainment. Therefore, it is a mufongo of a match. And let's see here. Oh, there's some stuff in the back. Baron Corbin's interviewed. Whoa. Kayla is muy... She's, she's very short. Didn't realize that Baron Corbin is a muy handsome individual. Very, very guapo. And he called Otis fat. He called Otis el gordo. That's, that's bad. Very bad. Uh, Jeff Hardy interview, and then Sheamus comes out. Yes, Jeff Hardy no sells as the technical properly should, and then hits the whisper in the wind, followed by a twist of fate and the swan ton bomb. Bien, bien, bien. A uh, Braun Strowman comes out, and Bray offers him a mask. Oh, Braun. Braun Braun should always accept the mascaras from another gentleman. Oh, I do not think things are going to go well for one Braun Strum and Chrome Money in the Bank. I've made those predictions already. So we'll see what happens. Then we have Ooh, oh, the Latinas. The Senoritas. Sasha Thanks. Ibelli! Oh, so luscious. So, so en fuego! Versus Lacey Evans and Tamina. Ooh, Tamina looks like a Klingon still. Um, this is pretty good. They rock. Uh, Sasha Banks and Bailey rock, paper, up, oh, scissors. Before that happened, Tamina said, I choose you. So Tamina's just too strong for either of them. Probably. Then there was the worst. Oh, Bailey. Bailey, you have to learn from heels such as Chessman. Tyra Valkyrie. La Chica Tormenta. How to do a chop block. I mean, just ask Arn. Oh, I don't know. He's not there anymore. Oh, well. That was the worst chop block ever. So disappointed. Cannot believe she had such a bad chop block. Oh, worst chop block. Mar, mar, mar. Oh, ay, caramba. I need some tequila. Some, some, some Mexicali. Yeah, yes. The true drink is Mexicali. E cachusa. Ooh. That's good stuff, too. But we continue. Uh, heel Bailey again chokes Klingon Tamina. Uh, Bailey eats a fist. And then... <laughs> I can't believe I wrote this down. What the hell? What was that distraction? Bailey just shouted at the top of her lungs. It sounded like she stepped on El Gato's tail. Gato! Are you okay, my gato? She stepped on a gato, El Gato's tail and it screamed all throughout the arena. Oh, my poor gato. Poor gato. A little perro. My, my, my gato. My fuzzy little gato. Uh, and then what was that? Was it, uh, 
odd distraction. Uh, Bailey eats the fist. Yeah, said that. Shot of Sasha Banks with a cheap shot. A true Rudo. Uh, Tamina. Then Tamina screams. Oh, sen Senora. Uh, volume down, please. And she just goes around the ring. Lacey and Tamina. Tags in Tamina for a near hot tag that was followed by El Rudos. Sasha Banks, Ibelardo, and Fuego Rudas. La Rudas. You see. Then Tamina landed that headbutt. Oh, oh, that Samoan headbutt. The most lethal of headbutts. Oh, even much greater than the Mexican headbutt, which is only the, the fourth best headbutt. For number one is the Scottish headbutt. Two is the Samoan headbutt. Three, the Canadian headbutt. Again, that busted open in one Vincent McMahon. And then four is the good old-fashioned hard head of El Mexicone. So that was good. The Simone style. E terrible spar. Oh, Tamina, did you learn nothing from your padre, the great Jimmy Snuka? Oh. Jimmy Snuka just rolled over in his grave in that splash attempt. Terrible. Then there was the belly to belly and the s macho elbow. But that had no effect on Tamina. She kicked out that some reverse Samoan drop. Or just a, actually a plain Samoan drop. And picks up the win. Uh, Lacey Evans and Tamina pick up the victory. See, this was a good match. It was actually eh, a burrito of a match. And there is a little preview of the office. The officer. Oh, the weight room to do all the lifting. The office with the dinosaurs, the deer, a Tyrannosaurus rock skull. Oh, very scary. The water cooler. The cubicles. Yes, everyone must work there until it's time for a siesta. Uh, then there was Kayla. <laughs> with Carmilla and oh, oh, Senorita Dana Brooke, oh, Senorita Dana Brooke, es muy grande, tatas, oh, Senora Grande Book, en fuego, si, 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 grande, grande boobies, si. Uh, then there was the main event of the evening. The Rudos. Ray Baron Corbin. E. Cesaro. E. Shinsuke Nakamura. Taking on the Technicals. Daniel Bryan. Senior Drew Gulak. E. Senior Otis. No, Tucker Knight. Oh, indeed. So this was a fun enough match. Um, it was interesting the way it started. Uh, Baron is definitely being the the Rudo of the match. Very heelish. Uh, gets beat up by everyone for some reason. Daniel Bryan and Drew Gulak beat on him. Eventually, Cesaro comes in, and then Drew Gulak. Drew Gulak and Cesaro were featured heavily. Through this match, uh, very, very, very good to see. Uh, Shinsuke was there for a little bit. Uh, got got beat up by Tucker. You got Caterpillar by Tucker. La Caterpillar. Oh, and then the elbow drop. A big, massive, manly elbow drop by Otis. Then there was the Drew Stomps on Cesaro. A little bit of wrestling on the outside. Uh, some countering. And then there was a Gulak. Applied to Cesaro. 
Cesaro is so strong, but Drew Gulak is so technical. So technical in his approach. Oh, so good. And then Otis. Oh, I, I cannot tear I cannot tear this shirt. This is this is this is my only shirt. Yes, again from the Southern Pro Lucha Libre. Muy. Muy grande. Uh, Otis hulks off his shirt, poses, but then Drew loses to the deep six to just a signature move, not even the finisher of the match. Oh, male, male, male. Oh, oh Vince. Senor Vince. Oh. Um, again, the brawl continues outside until, oh, no, no, Otis. Do not climb up the ladder. Very bad. Male luck. No, mal suerte. Mal, mal suerte. If you touch that briefcase. Mal suerte. Mucho mal suerte. Uh, then Daniel Bryan gets run to the ladder. And Rudo Baron Corbin goes near the briefcase. Indeed. And that was... Ah, uh, uh, taco of a match. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, we saw Jeff Hardy! Yes! He's just biding his time, you got... Oh, well, yeah, they trade stuff with Baron. I mentioned that already, though. Well, I think I forgot that. That's okay. Yep, it was the... Well, if I didn't mention it, uh, Seamus made fun of him from his TNA days. T and A days and those impromptu brawl, the... The uh, Whisper in the Wind, Twist of Fate, Swanton, Jeff Hardy sends tall. And that was SmackDown. Um, I'll tell you what, folks. That first match. Really killed the show. That's. The first match. Oh, Vince. Boo, Sonya Deville. Boo. 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 Cannot boo her enough. And Senor Vince. Boo. For putting that. Terrible! For the smash on. Boo, Vince! Boo, Sonya Deville! Eee, that, that's SmackDown. I got smacked for that. But that's not all for this week on Sunday! A mi, gua, mi grande match! Money in the bank! Again, Hobo Tom will come back. I shall go tell him he has to finish off his red wine. He needs to. His, his vino, his vino di vino. It's not done yet. Comida, pollo y cerveza. Y sangria, y tequila, y ron, y mexicar. 